My mum's close friend was a lifelong faithful Christian who, unlike my mum, who was a chapel goer, uh, faithfully went to Llandaff Cathedral all her life. And so when I was confirmed, she gave me a manual for the communicants of the Church in Wales, which the Church in Wales had published. It included the confirmation service and the collects and readings for every Sunday and for all the holy days of the church's year. It included a simple morning and evening prayer and it had a selection of traditional prayers of the church. Where I grew up, we lived about half an hour from the church I attended. And so as I walked there Sunday by Sunday and some of the holy days, I would try and learn and commit some of these prayers to memory. One I was particularly fond of was the Anima Christi. And because it was uh, a Welsh prayer book, uh, it had one of the versions of the Anima Christi that was found in medieval Welsh manuscripts. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Cross of Christ, protect me. Blood of Christ, refresh me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Suffering of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me, within thy wounds hide me. Let me not be separated from thee. From the deadly enemy defend me. In the hour of death, call me and bid me come to thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee for ever and ever. Jesus has a lovely image of what a good teacher of the kingdom of God is like. Every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. This applies to prayer. We don't need fancy words to pray. We don't need the well-honed words of the past. We can just pour out what is on our heart. And that is what I did for the first few years of my prayer life. And if we run out of words, we can sit in silence. St Paul tells us that the Holy Spirit prays in us with groans too deep for words. But even in the New Testament, Christians were using the words of Christian hymns and of course the Psalms of the Hebrew Scriptures. And we too can use all these as well as the prayers of our own liturgy and prayers like the Anima Christi, honed by the love and longing of Christians who have gone before us. It isn't either or, it's both and, as long as, whether words or silence, singing or groans or tears, it's offered to the God who loves us. Sanctify me, save me, protect me, refresh me, wash me, hide me, let me not be separated from me, from the deadly enemy defend me, in the hour of my death call me and bid me come to thee that with thy saints I may praise thee for ever and ever. Amen.